Welcome back. I am Olivia Sylvia's Romantech.com and in today's video I am so excited to show you guys the DIY Dollar Tree and budget-friendly French farmhouse decor crafts. So I truly love to share with y'all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. Y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. And without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out a glitter and paint and let's get to crafty. In today's video, I am really excited to share with you six DIY French farmhouse inspired crafty decor projects. So we are going to be using items from the Dollar Tree or items that I have thrifted or that you may have even laying around your home that you can repurpose and recycle. And I have been wanting one of these beautiful lanterns to decorate with forever. So I decided to create one using everything I had on hand and all items from the Dollar Tree. So to get started, I went ahead and gathered up several Dollar Tree frames that I had left over from another project. For this lantern, I'll be using four 8x10 frames and then four of these Dollar Tree scrolly mirrors. I'm just going to go ahead and take everything out of the frame and I'm also removing the little tabs. Now you can see I removed them the wrong way and it kind of broke off a little bit of the frame so when you remove the tabs remove them and pull them towards you not away from the frame that will keep them from breaking I learned that the hard way so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and take the little Dollar Tree mirror frames originally I thought that I wanted to try and pop the mirror out but that wasn't to be had because they didn't come out very easily and I didn't want to end up cutting myself by breaking the mirror out so I'm just I decided to just go ahead and chalk paint over the mirror and the entire frame. So I'm using some homemade chalk paint that I mixed up. I used one cup of regular latex paint and half a cup of baking soda. And I went ahead and gave all my mirrors um, one coat. And then now I'm just going in and I'm giving my frames one coat. I end up giving all of the mirrors and frames two coats on the front and then one coat on the back. Um, I definitely suggest go ahead and painting them in advance, even though the drying time did make this project a little lengthy. So now I am going in with some E6000 glue and I'm running it down the long edge of the frame. I like to use E6000 glue and hot glue together. That way they will be more permanent and stay together better, but you could just use hot glue. Although if you really want your lantern to last, I definitely recommend using a stronger glue, but I like to mix them together. That way the hot glue will kind of hold it together while the E6000 glue has time to dry. So I just went ahead and E6000 glue the other side of my frame and then also added the hot glue and then continued this process until I got all of my frames glued together. Once I had all my frames glued together, I did let it dry for about an hour or two, and then I decided to go ahead and add my little mirror parts to the top of my frame. So these wouldn't glue on, so I decided to use a white pipe cleaner. It mixed in fairly well with the frames, and I just looped it around the top of the mirror, and then underneath each scrolly piece, and then I just twisted it together about two to three times. So that actually held up really well. I did this same process to all four sides and that way my little mirror pieces stayed up really nicely. Now I'm just removing the excess of the pipe cleaner on the end and that way it doesn't stick out. Now I'm using some of that Dollar Tree tin that comes on those welcome to our patch signs that they had out for Easter and I'm going to take and I'm going to cut this piece of tin to fit over the pipe cleaner because I didn't want the pipe cleaner to show. This is just a little added detail and since I'm trying to use all Dollar Tree items I thought this would be really cute. So I'm just taking some hot glue and I'm hot gluing this extra piece 
piece of 10 on and then I cut another piece to go on top of that. I did find that it was easier to hot glue the top piece of 10 on first and then do the second piece. And I did brush paint the tin with a little bit of the white chalk paint just to help it kind of blend in. And I am absolutely over the moon in love with this French farmhouse lantern. I think it came out super beautiful. Now I didn't leave any of the glass in the frames. These were actually mirrors from Dollar Tree. So I wanted it to stay um, where there wasn't anything around it. That way I can put a really pretty floral coming out of it. But for now I'm using really romantic, beautiful candles. And I just thought it gave a really nice glow to my entryway table. I feel like it looks very French farmhouse, very shabby chic and just very sweet and absolutely beautiful and perfect. Just what I've been dreaming of and had planned out in my head. I was really excited that it was able to all come together. excited with how this project came out and I cannot wait to decorate it for the different seasons. So to get ready for our next DIY, I'm just taking a Dollar Tree basket and then this little basket that I picked up at the thrift store for $1.50. It came with this little fruit and basket liner inside. I am going to hang on to the other pieces in case I want to use them for another project, but I'm just going to take some of that chalk paint and I'm going to chalk paint the entire basket. So I did one coat on the inside of my basket and then two coats on the outside and I waited to chalk paint the very end of the basket until I got done chalk painting the inside. And then here's that Dollar Tree basket. It was originally green and I took some pink spray paint. I thought I wanted to make it pink, but then I decided I wanted to make it more neutral. That way it could transition into summer. And now I'm just using a little dab of black apple barrel craft paint. I want to give it a little bit of that French farmhouse vibe. And so I'm adding a little bit of the gray to the top part of the basket and then kind of in and around the basket weave just to give it a little bit of dimension. I do notice that in the craft stores and the specialty stores that these baskets that are painted are a little bit pricey sometimes so I thought why not for a dollar let's create our own and I knew it would be just perfect in this French farmhouse vignette that I'm creating in my entryway. So I turned the Dollar Tree basket sideways and then I added a really cute little handmade nest that I'm going to share with you guys how to make a little bunny that I had left over from years ago and voila we have a very cute very festive little French farmhouse vignette that I can change out the decor on the inside and even put it in my kitchen or just wherever suits my fancy. <laughs> So now I'm going to share with you all how to create a bird's nest out of a paper towel roll. So I'm just taking this paper towel roll and I'm cutting it in half and I'm kind of bending it out to kind of make it a little bit more flat and then I'm going to cut it in half again. And then I want to go ahead and kind of work it around just a little bit with my hands to kind of get it to bend up into the shape of a bird's nest. Now I'm adding some hot glue and I'm just going to hot glue the two pieces of paper towel cardboard together. You guys could use pretty much really any cardboard that you wanted, but it was nice that the um, paper towel roll or you could use a toilet paper roll kind of um, just naturally bends up together. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, now I'm adding a big giant dab of hot glue and some of that Dollar Tree Excelsior grass. This is kind of more in the pale color. I wanted to make a lighter bird's nest to go in with this white French farmhouse vignette that I'm doing. So I'm just going ahead and shaping it a little bit more. And then I did get some twigs from outside my house. This was just some old dead twigs that had dried up over winter. I cut them off and then I'm kind of forming them in and around the nest. They formed rather nicely, but I did go ahead and hot glue them underneath the edges of where I had glued the cardboard pieces together. That just helped them hold a little bit more. You could also take a piece of twine and wrap that around 
um, if that's something that you felt like needed to be done. I also took a look at the bottom and decided that my bird really needed to build a real nest and so we went ahead and hot glued and then added some more of the mumbo jumbo that have fallen off the top part to the bottom and voila we have a beautiful very festive little nest perfect for spring. The bunny is nesting up in here and I love having the basket underneath because some of these spring birds nests do make a mess on my tables. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanted to reuse some of those plastic eggs that I had laying around, so I decided to go ahead and chalk paint a couple of them to go ahead and add them into my little Easter basket vignette here. I think these are really cute for the farmhouse style and to add in with the bunny, and just a great way to reuse those plastic eggs that we all have laying around everywhere around this time of year. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm also reusing some of those hearts that I had left over from some DIYs during Valentine's Day. I'm just chalk painting the front of the heart and I did end up using two coats. If you guys can tell, I'm really trying to repurpose and reuse items that I already have on hand. That way I can go in and reorganize my craft stash once Easter gets here and know that I really didn't buy too many things, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so these are going to be perfect. And I am just using a little bit of that black apple barrel paint to mix in to make kind of some gray. I just painted it in the center part and then I used some Elmer's glue and I just went across the heart with the Elmer's glue and glued on this little French saying and it says life is beautiful. So I was really excited for this. I just thought it would be perfect to add the little romantic touch of the heart in with the sweet little basket and just really getting festive with that cute little egg and bunny. Next DIY, I want to share with you all how to build a bird's nest out of a cottage cheese container. So we go through a lot of these and I've had my eye on these to make a bird's nest out of. So I just cut the top off and now I'm hot gluing in and around the side and I want to wrap the entire container with this scrap of kind of burlap colored fabric that I have and so I'm just going to continue to glue and wrap the fabric around the entire container and now I'm just cutting off the excess part of the fabric. I did decide also that I wanted to go ahead and put the brown fabric in and around the base and so I'm just hot gluing to make sure it's not too flappy in and around the bottom part of the container. And then I did go ahead and take another strip of the fabric and hot glue some to the bottom and then I just trimmed the excess off of that. I really love the shape of this container. I guess it's spring and I just keep thinking bird's nest. So. Anyway, I hope you guys are loving this. I'm just going around the edge and then I'm using up the rest of that Excelsior grass. I'm really happy to use the rest of this up because it's been floating around in my craft stash and it just gets everywhere. <laughs> so I'm so excited to make another cute little bird's nest here. This is also kind of similar to the one that we made out of the chicken can, but I'm just going around with some more of that old dead twigs and on this one I did go in with a piece of twine scrap that I had left over from another project and tie the edge of this on. So this made a, diff a little bit of a different shape of a bird's nest from the last one. The last one was kind of a little bit flatter and wider but I really like how unique they all look and how different they all look by using different sizes. To me, it looks a little bit more realistic. So now I'm just adding in my lovebirds and you guys saw me use these in one of my last DIY nests. There they are. Those are also from the Dollar Tree. They were actually from Christmas and they had sparkly heads. I just painted them with a tiny bit of craft paint. You guys can definitely do that. I know a lot of you um, had wondered if that was possible and so yes definitely you can add a little bit of paint to your birds um, to cover up any spots that you don't care for. 
So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're just going to take some of that fruit. I had some from the Dollar Tree, and I also had some that came in that little basket that I got at the thrift store. So I'm just taking it and I'm painting the fruit with some white chalk paint. I also did a DIY on this similar during Christmas where I added glitter to the fruit and a little bit of gold paint. So that's just another idea once the holidays kind of come. If you all need some fruit pieces to add into some of your florals or whatnot and you wanted them to be a little bit more of a muted tone. I think I did even go ahead and add a tiny bit of gray paint to the outside of this but I definitely didn't want the fruit to be gray. So here it is. I added an apple into the basket. I added that lemon. I might go back in with a little bit of color once the summer comes and do maybe some yellows. Anyway, but I did want this all to be completely neutral. This week, I am in the mood for white. So here it is, the entire display. I am so in love with it. I think it looks really clean, really fresh, perfect for spring. I can go in and add some pastels for Easter. If I want to do coastal for the summer, I can add in some seashell aspects and whatnot. So I am just really loving this. I hope you all are loving this. I really hope that you're inspired. It's such a blessing to have you here. I hope you guys are having fun crafting with me and I just thank you and just wish you all the best, best, best ever. So slow, hold you in my arms, won't let go. The world around could pass us by a thunderstorm. We hold each other tight. You're the rose in a garden. And of course, here's your favorite little creative director, Benji Bear. He has his pre-summer haircut. They put a cute little shamrock scarf on him. So he's been to the groomers. If you guys can tell, doesn't he look younger when he has his haircut just a little bit? So anyway, he just wants to say hi to everybody. Roof, roof, and meow to all the kitty cats and puppy dogs. And check that out. He actually dropped his ball for me. Anyway, we love you guys so, so much. And thank you for being here. Thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. I have a huge passion for crafting and decorating on a budget. This is my sixth season on YouTube. So if you love to craft and decorate on a budget or you simply love to watch me craft and decorate on a budget, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. I host fun giveaways and I post three YouTube videos a week as well as several a day on my Livy's Romantic Home Facebook page. I even have a little group page. You guys can share photos of your home decor and DIY projects. So thank you for being here. It is a true blessing and honor. Again, this is my sixth season on YouTube. So go back and binge watch some of my playlists. I have I Love Spring, I Love Christmas, I Love Fall. I do everything on a budget using Dollar Tree, Thrift Store, and Hobby Lobby supplies. Um, and every once in a while I'll go crazy and go to TJ Maxx or something like that. So I have always been a firm believer that you guys can have a beautiful home no matter how big or small it is. And sometimes just taking a look around and tidying up your space and decluttering a little bit of things and doing some cute little seasonal decor will really get you on the road to having a cozy nice home and home is where your heart is so do your best to keep your heart going in a positive direction I start every day with the Dollar Tree prayer card and I found some new ones that I'm gonna do some giveaways on as well as my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway I'm gonna announce that on my socials so thank you guys always for commenting and for being here and loving on me you guys' comments just keep me going. So I'm a DIY crafty mama. I'm about to be an empty nester. My daughter is gonna be out of school or out of high school next year. And my son is gonna be graduating and from college. Can you guys believe it? And can you believe Benji Bear is gonna be four this year? It's unbelievable how time is passing and how much of this time you guys have spent with me. So thank you. I recognize so many different, you know, names and um you know even for the new folks out there thank you guys for being here um i am a one woman show here it's me you guys in this camera i buy all my own supplies i create my own um ideas and you know i just love crafting and decorating i've been crafting and decorating since i was a little girl um 
you know, I've told you guys this story before where I used to get shoe boxes and, you know, make little um, houses inside of a shoe box and then cut a hole in the end of the shoe box and a hole in the top. I would cut up my mom's country living magazines and then decorate it like it was, you know, a whole living room or bedroom. And um, I love to do collages when I was a little girl, paper crafts. You guys might notice I do a lot of paper crafts on my channel. I try to even just look around me um, and say, what can I use? Kind of like, you know, these, um, coffee filter roses. This was a couple videos back that I did the coffee filter roses. I always want, want to like share with you guys that you guys don't have to spend a lot of money to have beautiful crafts. Sometimes just time and creativity. But look how real these look. These are definitely have been my go-to and my favorite. Um, and I need to start doing some more of these because I want to create a whole huge garland over my door using these. I did one um, on my fireplace mantle. You guys can go back and watch that video. But anyway, totally tangent. But I love to craft and decorate on a budget. I hope you guys love to as well. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed weekend. Hello, March. Welcome, March. I'm so excited for this, um, you know, holiday of spring. You can see a lot of kind of like Easter spring behind me. They're kind of scattered. I need to start really decorating my home for Easter. Um, which is a huge love of mine and Easter's coming early this year. So we guys, we've got to get on it. So I'm going to let you guys get back to your weekend. I hope you are having a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. No matter where you're at, keep going, get up off that couch, get your body moving, take your dog for a walk, walk in place. When you exercise, that brings hope into your body. It brings hope into your mind. So remember, every time we wake up, you know, no matter what stress and worry we have going on, because let me tell you, we have a bunch of that. I have a bunch of that. Um, you got to let that go and enjoy the day that God has given you. So until our next video, we're going to have brand new crafts next week. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to one another. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Bye.